everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and a brand new vlog. Don't forget to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. It's the most wonderful time of the year, you guys. It's Christmas, or it's after Christmas by the time you all are watching this video, but I will be showing you uh, what I got for Christmas in this video. I'm also cooking a holiday meal, and I know you guys love when I cook, but I'm about to throw down, okay? I'm about to, I'm about, I'm about to do the Southern thing, okay? So I'm going to show you guys that as well. But yeah, first, I want to thank all of you for all of your sweet comments about my mom, who was in the previous video. Um, she gets a kick out of reading you guys' comments and things. So thank you guys so much um, for giving her such a warm welcome. You guys know I'm pretty private when it comes to like my family and also my love life. I never really show my family or anybody I'm dating. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be a nice Christmas treat. Uh, She's already gone back home and I am celebrating the holidays with my good friend Rhea. Um, I have a holiday dinner I need to put together for me and my employees and yeah, it's going to be a fun vlog. So without further ado, let's head out into my office. I want to show you guys a few things. All right, you guys, I am thrilled because I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at my post from yesterday, which was my Christmas post when I wore my brand new Nina Richie bow top. And you guys are loving it. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're playing yourself, give your girl a follow at Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E-S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E on Instagram, check me out. But I'm gonna go ahead and insert the footage that we shot from that shoot so you guys can get a better feel for the outfit. And then we'll come back here and I'll show you some more things. outfit came together and I'm wearing my brand new Nina Richie bow top um, I got this from where did I get this from satire and it's on sale at pretty much multiple places it's on sale at my Teresa I think um, satire and one other place so I'll be sure to link all the places that I can find this bow top online for you guys it is French sizing and I got a size 38 and it fits beautifully I ended up pairing this with some actual ski these are ski stirrup pleated leggings they're super thick too that i got from sweaty betty they're still available so if you're in a cold weather climate you need a cute pair of stirrups but they're a little bit dressy with the pleat down the front i've linked them down below they're also on sale right now and they also come without the pleat so yeah and they also come in navy blue so definitely check those out. I've linked those down below. And then I paired them with my Scaparelli shoes. Everyone keeps asking me in the comments about where to buy these shoes. You can only buy them at Bergdorf's. I think there's another spot uh, in LA that you can buy them. And then you can only get them at the Atelier. You can't buy these online unless you get them from the Scaparelli website. Um, really, that's it. So yeah. And then what else did I pair with it? I paired it with my Brandon Blackwood bamboo tote in black. This is such a classic bag. I love Brandon Blackwood. And this bag is just my favorite bag. It's so cute and amazing. And just, I have it in brown as well. And I'll link it down below. I'm thinking about getting the Python one. There's like a snake print one in like gray and white with the same like gold bamboo handle. It's just such a classic bag. It does have a cross body strap. But I never use it. But in case you've never seen this bag before, I'll link it. And then I finished it off with my Saint Laurent 
sunglasses. These are probably next to my and other story sunglasses, my favorite sunglasses because I love the red top. It always pops with the red lip. Um, and I think these are on sale at Satire as well and a couple of other places. So I'll link these down below. I mean, they're giving YSL. So on the side, it's gold. On the top, it's red. So fire. And that was pretty much the look. And I had so much fun shooting that with Maria. She ate those photos up. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that footage because we did end up filming a little bit of it for YouTube. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of dresses hanging here and these are all my um, Jean-Paul Gaultier dresses, except for my dot dress. The dress that I wore when I was on um, Janae of Hilo Lux, her style and lock show, I wore the dot dress. I left that in New York. And so these are the only Jean-Paul Gaultier dresses that I have, there are eight of them. And I included them in a reel that I did of my 2023 favorite brand. Um, and it's definitely Jean-Paul Gaultier. Fun fact, I went to his very last show when he was the actual designer of the brand. I went to his last show in Paris. It was at the Rex Theater and everybody, I mean everybody was there. Um, it's one of the very first like high like designer fashion shows that I've ever gone to in Paris. I'm not even sure how I got an invite. I'm sure I had less than like 5,000 followers on Instagram. This was years and years and years and years ago, you guys. And I, it might have even been before Instagram because I did do a blog post about it, but there's no photos on Instagram when this happened. So it must have been pre-2010, which is when I got on Instagram. Anywho, I ended up making a reel showcasing all of my Jean-Paul Gaultier dresses and styling them. And so I definitely want to show you guys that. So I'll pop that up here so you can check it out. And then we will come back and open some Christmas gifts. I really enjoy putting that reel together. I have another one coming up, um, the best resort wear of 2023, the best denim jeans of 2023, my most worn shoes of 2023. And all of these things will go up on my Instagram before January 1st. And I have a highlight on my Instagram profile, 2023 favorites, where you can click on the highlight and go through all of my favorites with links to everything. So definitely check that out. Let's get into what I got myself for Christmas. Now y'all already know in a previous vlog, I showed y'all a lot of stuff and I already bought myself a lot of things for Christmas, but one thing I am just very excited to wear. And I think I'm gonna wear it to the Christmas dinner. Not even Christmas dinner, but like my holiday dinner. Uh, here it is. You probably have seen it. But how freaking gorgeous. It is this red dress from Mara Hoffman. This dress is gorgeous. You guys know I'm a huge Mara Hoffman fan, but the moment I saw this dress, I had to have it. Like, <laughs> but the price was not pricing. Luckily it was on sale during like the holiday sales at maybe three different places. And I found it for the cheapest at, where did I find it the cheapest? I can't remember, it was either Farfetch or Satire or Louisa V. Aroma. I can't remember, but I've linked it down below. It's probably still on sale. Um, but on the website, it's still full price. But this is the Luna dress in red and has all of these beautiful rose, like florets off the shoulder. It's again, that like super stretchy, crinkly fabric. Um, I ended up getting this in a small, thank goodness I didn't get it in my normal size, which is a medium because it has a ton of stretch. You could definitely size down. And it fits like a dream. It's just a beautiful red midi dress. I think it's perfect for the holidays, perfect for a holiday party. And also because I live in Miami, I can really wear this dress any time of year. And it's just a beautiful dress. It also comes in black as well as white. And then it also comes with just, you know, the rose florets on the bosom instead of like off the shoulder. But this off the shoulder rosette look is just stunning and gorgeous so that is the first thing that i got myself 
for the holidays this Mara Hoffman dress I, and I wish I would have just got it when I seen it but then I would not have gotten it on sale because I've seen quite a few people rocking this dress already which is fine but uh, it takes away some of the like wow factor sometimes but yeah it's a beautiful dress and definitely one I will have in my wardrobe for years to come so we're going to leave this one out because I think I'm going to wear it um, in a few days for a holiday dinner. I'm planning for Maria and I. I think we're either going to go to uh, Makoto or I don't know, Poppy's. One of my, or who, where else can we go? Just one of my favorite restaurants here in Miami and just, you know, have a great time. All right, guys. So let's go downstairs to the living room because everything else that I wanted to open, I just put under the Christmas tree. And all of these things are gifts from brands, nothing too major. So let's go and let's check it out. All right, guys. So I have quite a few things under the tree from brands. We are going to start with Maison Francis Kirk Dijon, uh, which is a perfume house based in Paris or based in France. You guys already know that I'm a huge fan. If you watch my previous video where I, I went through my favorite fragrances of 2023, one was MFK Baccarat Rouge 540, classic rich bee smell, just smells feminine and beautiful and gorgeous one of my favorite fragrances the other is mfk aqua media cologne and this is more unisex it's super fresh minty definitely giving you like beach miami vibes um and i love that one as well so interested to see what's in here so let's unbox it together it comes in this beautiful bag with a mo motif here of a garden and a fountain and I do believe this is a place in Paris I can't I can't think of it um but yeah let's open this up together let's sit all right guys let's get into it beautiful packaging I'm pretty sure a PR firm sent this to me and I'm on their PR list oh there's a little card with my name on it and it just says dear Monroe Maison Francis invites you to enter its enchanted garden and wishes you a very happy holidays thank you for this year together all the best that makes me feel super special <laughs> like that they even know who i am it's amazing there is a little holiday card how cute and then we have two things that are wrapped here and they're beautifully wrapped so let's open them together let's start with the big one because i think it's a fragrance the wrapping is so nice almost don't want to open it but i want to see what's in here i'm gonna freaking cry you guys, I was just talking about this is like my favorite fragrance. The Maison Francis Baccarat Rouge 540. But this is the sparkling body oil. And this has been out of stock forever. I've been trying to get my hands on the sparkling body oil for like six months. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have this. Okay, you guys, so this has shimmering 24 karat gold scented oil inspired by the secret of Rouge Allure, an alchemy obtained by blending crystal and gold powder. I cannot believe they sent this to me. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm gonna cry. I didn't expect for this to be it. Like, you guys know, Rouge 540 is pretty expensive. And like, oh, I gotta get the plastic off, y'all. But we're gonna do a first impressions. Ah! Okay, guys, so here is the bottle. Beautiful clear bottle. 
and you can see the oil inside it's like shimmery it's gold so I, i've never had one of these so it's a twist off cap and it has a tiny tiny hole i'm going to try not to get this everywhere because i do have on silk by the way this is an old skim set but i will link a few more of my favorite house dresses and robes down below in the description box i'm just gonna okay it doesn't come out super quick it just comes out in drops oh it smells amazing oh it smells just like <laughs> Rouge 540. Ooh, i don't know if you guys can see but your girl is shimmering and it's like more of a dry oil so it doesn't get everywhere and leave everything oily like it literally just seeped right into my skin like a lotion it makes my skin feel super soft Ooh, it smells amazing i'm so happy to have this i've been trying to get this for months so this also makes a great gift i believe it's a little bit um i believe it's less than the actual fragrance but you still get the fragrance with a beautiful glow so yeah i'll link this down below if any of you are interested and shout out to maison francis for hooking your girl up now let's get into the next gift like that it was so good i'm like what what could be in here let's see Ooh. so this is what we have this is interesting so this is the discovery set it's a bath discovery set i didn't even know they made these or did i i did have a visit at mfk in paris like not this past fashion week but the one before look at this so it has five different kinds of scented soap bubbles it has a uh, Sapine, violet, um, cold mint, cut grass, and pear. Ooh, I have to sniff them all. <laughs> Y'all know how I am. I have to sniff them all and give you guys the 411. Okay, you guys. I actually thought these were like bath bubbles. These are actual bubbles. So I did know that MFK creates bubbles because I saw them when I went to their um, store and got a tour in paris uh last year in 2022 october they are bubbles oh my god i'm gonna blow some but this would be so cute for like a child a very bougie gift but also you know just the wonderment of being an adult as well why not Ooh. so this one is which one is this pear clearly i'm horrible at <laughs> blowing bubbles ah! let's do some more come on work for me oh that is too freaking cute i'm obsessed i'm gonna save these i want to give them to my nieces oh that's so cute and it smells amazing oh i love this this is such a cool gift like who would have thought of it oh my goodness it smells so good which one was that that was the pear wow how cool okay so that's first up from mfk thank you so much to my mfk fam let's see we have a few more things under the under the tree let's move it over to the couch and get into those okay next up we have this gift i think it says casing casing on the bag I'm not sure that the bag has anything to do with the gift. This was actually a gift from my good friend Amira. She is a stylist um, based out in LA and she styles everybody all and she is so good at her job and I see her everywhere like when I was in Paris recently she was in a vlog. Um, she was here for Miami Art Basel styling so definitely give her a follow. I will put her Instagram handle here. Um, she just is so stylish and she has such a good heart like She's amazing. I also saw her in Milan Fashion Week and it was her birthday. So um, we went to dinner at Nobu. So yeah, she sent me a gift, which is super sweet. So let's get into it. Oh, it is from this. 
I've never heard of this brand before. Case in London. Um, but clearly, I love the packaging. It's beautiful. Let's get into it. I think it's a candle. Let me see. It says nudism. <laughs> Can I get into this? Yes. So we have a little box here. And you pull the tab. How cute is that? It's a fragrance, I believe. The bottle is stunning. And I love the packaging. This is beautiful. So let's smell it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. The bottle is stunning. And the fragrance is called nudism. So let's do a first impression. I love the bottle. It's so cute. Let's see. I want to do it where I didn't just put in the baccarat. So let's do this wrist. We'll just do two sprays. Let that marinate for a bit. But I've never heard of this brand, but I love the, the packaging. Oh my God. She knows me so well. New favorite fragrance I unlocked. Oh my God, this smells so good. I wish I had the notes somewhere for you guys. Definitely vanilla. It's a strong lead with vanilla, but then it has like pepper. And I mean, just regular like black pepper over the vanilla. I have never smelled anything like this. I love it because it's super feminine, but there's a masculine side of it. And it's very just like clean. Like you could smell the notes. They're not covered with a bunch of different things, but it's called nudism. And it smells like the word nude, you know, like beiges, warm creams, off whites. If those colors had a smell, this would be it. This is beautiful. I have to send her a thank you. I think I, I, I talked to her yesterday, but I have to send her a huge thank you because this smells incredible. Kaysen, I have to make sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me see if I can, if I can find the notes, I'll definitely pop it on the screen for you guys. But the bottle is stunning and it smells so good. She knows me so well. Like this is a totally me fragrance. And it's hard to get me because I sometimes don't like fragrances that are too, too feminine, like super rosy and super floral smells I don't really care for. I like more complex fragrances and ooh, it just gets better. I'm gonna wear this today for when I put on my like little holiday dinner outfit. We're gonna wear this. So shout out to my girl and definitely check, check out Case in London Nudism. I think you guys are gonna love it. Oh, there's a card, I missed it. She said, happy holidays, my girl. I hope you love this new fragrance as much as I do, send in love. I do love it, I really do. The, the fragrance has a short film trailer. So if you guys want, scan this barcode with your phone and it'll give you all the details and a little photo, I mean, and a little video. And you can also follow them on Instagram here as well. But yeah, such a beautiful fragrance. I'm, I'm, I love it. Thank you, girl. All right, guys. So that's what I got. There are more gifts under the tree. I actually just got this one yesterday. Um, and this is from my Kyra Wise fam. I actually went to an event that they had maybe like two or three months ago where I met the owner of the brand Kirsten and she does all natural makeup and skincare and she sent over a little card oh so cool dear monroe wishing you a joyous holiday season and prosperous new year thank you for your invaluable support during 2023 it means the world to the team and i it was a, a pleasure meeting you in person thank you for taking the time and i look forward to reconnecting in 2024 with gratitude kirsten uh so she sent a book and this book is the little book of Hu of Huga, which is Danish Secrets to Happy Living. And you guys know I love <laughs> books like this, like self-help books. Um, and the CEO of Happiness Research Institute in Copenhagen. 
Uh, how cool is this? I have to get into this. Oh, so it has like a ton of little like short stories. I love this. Oh, and it has recipes in it too. How to make twist bread. You guys know I've been on my baking. How cool is this? I love it. Huga, the little book of Huga. Dana's Secrets to Living Happy. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. But I love books like this. This looks like a super quick read too. You guys know one of my, I don't want to say resolutions, but just things I want to be better at in 2024 um, is reading more because I feel like my brain is deteriorating slowly <laughs> with all the social media and things being not having to read. Um, so I want to get more into reading. This would be a super quick read. It's only 200 and something pages. So thank you for the book. And then of course, they sent over some products. I love their packaging. It's so beautiful and like festive. So in here, we have a ton of the Kyra Wise beauty products and skincare products. Again, everything is uh, biodegradable. She's really into, you know, lowering the carbon footprint and using things that are reusable and also making products that are clean. So we have a tinted lip balm here. We have, oh, this is the tinted lip balm case. So once you buy the case once, you never have to like buy it again, which is great. So that you can just buy refills of everything. That way you don't have to keep like spending money just to get the case. So this is what the lip gloss goes into. Such beautiful packaging. Um, and I know she worked with an engineer for so long to come up with beautiful, sustainable packaging. This is one of the cream blushes. This is actually just the pack. <laughs> the blush is somewhere in here. So the blush comes in here and then this is the pack that the blush can be put in. So a ton of different products. You guys know one of my themes of 2023 was to switch over as many beauty and skincare products as I could to clean. And this is one of the brands that I have been using. So I'll be sure to link them down below. You can check them out, but shout out to them for sending me this. Next up, I got a gift from my friends over at Nikki Beach. You guys know I go to a lot of their events and promote them a lot. And they've helped me with like putting together events and things. And I love it there. They're always inviting me to anything that they have going on and I appreciate it. But they reached out and let me pick something from their shop. And so let me show you what it is that I got. Cause honestly, I do not remember. Oh, look at this. So this says shop Nikki Beach. And here in Miami at Nikki Beach, they have a store where they have bathing suits and hats and all kinds of cool items. So let me show you what they sent. First up, they sent this hat. It's like a little raffia hat. How cute is this? Your girl might be going to the desert soon for a little getaway, so. This will work out perfectly. I think this is the second hat I have from them too. Oh, <laughs> it's giving. Oh, I need some cowgirl boots. This is actually really giving. It's giving like Lisa Bonet. I love it. I love the little feathers too. How cute is this? Oh, I love it. And the hat is adjustable on the inside. I will link their store down below because I think maybe you can order things online from them. But if you just happen to be in Miami and go to Nikki Beach, definitely check out Shop Nikki Beach store. They also have an Instagram so you can see all the all of the things that they have. So check out Shop Nikki Beach Miami on Instagram as well. This is so cute. OK, I also got I have no idea what's in here. Oh, I think I picked out a bathing suit. Wait, this has a belt. What is this? Is this a swimsuit? Oh, it is. Okay, so this is a swimsuit. A black swimsuit. And you guys know that I think I actually prefer like full one piece bathing suits over a two piece. And this one has like nice full coverage too, which I like. 
it's a good fit fabric too and i'm guessing it comes with this super cute woven belt that i can put around the waist to kind of cinch it in and this bathing suit is by aqua deluxe beachwear if you're interested this is it aqua deluxe beachwear this is so cute i'm not going to try this on for you guys because your girl needs to get to the wax center asap but yeah that's a different topic for another day <laughs> and we will do that before new year's because we have to so i got that bathing suit and then also got this little cover up how cute is this this is from the brand capitana and it's just a cute little woven cover up that i can put wear like a little sarong this is the brand if you're interested i got this in a medium large the brand is capitana and i'll put all of the brand names and if i can find anything online down below as well but this will be super cute and then there's one more thing i don't know what this is <laughs> honestly I, I i picked out the things from the lookbook so long ago i just don't remember what is this is this the same thing oh this is like a little top oh it's a set so this is also capitana but it's a little um shawl it's a little cardigan that you will put over your swimsuit and it ties in the front how cute is that and then it has the little matching sarong oh that's very cute maybe i'll wear this for uh, new year's so shout out to my nikki beach fam and shop nikki beach for sending those items over now i have one more like huge wellness box that i got from uh, oh let me get it let me get it uh, that i got from the well which is like a wellness spot and i believe they're opening one here in miami in 2014 so ahead of them opening and i have been to the well in new york city it's amazing um so i'm really glad that they are coming to Miami, but this box is huge and it's heavy. So let's get into it. Okay, so there is a card and it just talks about the well Bay Harbor Islands opening in early 2025, not even 2024, they're opening in 2025. And it's going to be a sanctuary dedicated to nurturing your physical, mental, and spiritual well being. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And um, this is from the CEO, David Martin, and Rebecca Perrike, Sarah Hollock, and Kane Sarhan, which are co-founders of The Well, and The Well Bay Harbor Islands coming soon. How cool is this? And this just tells me everything that's in this huge box. So, oh my God, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, guys, there's so much stuff in here. But I have a book, Inspired Balance Restorative Homes, which works for me because I'm really trying to like get my home together. So, oh, so this gives you tips on how to do that. Very cool. Oh, it talks about the neighborhood too. How do they know? Oh, this is nice. Okay, how cool is this place in Costa Rica? You guys, I cannot wait to go on a vacation. Like, I need a vacation. <gasps> Guess what's in here? Underneath the book was this. They ain't no one. 1111 by Lake and Sky. This is one of my favorite fragrances. And the brand has actually sent me this, but now I have an extra one, which is great because I'm halfway through my first bottle of 1111. If you've never smelled it, it is a simple yet bold unisex blend inspired by the techniques of yoga and the color white. It is a sheer, clean, and uplifting fragrance with an ethereal vibe, and it really is. Ah, I have another bottle of 1111. Very nice. They gave me an dual action jade facial roller as well as a ultra um, facial brush. I didn't know you could like brush your face like that, but I guess if you could do it for your skin, 
you could do it for your face as well. There's literally a ton of stuff in here. So we also have some Koba skincare. Um, and this is Gold Drip Nourishing Body and Hair Oil. Ooh, I never heard of this brand, but how beautiful. I bet you it smells so good. It has Sufu oil in it. Love that. We have a little tumbler from the well. We have a candle too. Ooh, y'all know I love a candle. So this is the flower crown candle from the well. It has cedarwood, ylang ylang, and geranium. Look how beautiful this packaging is for the well. It's so like chic and just calming and like peaceful and pure. And I guess that that's all the things that they're going for. But tons of products in here that I'll get to check out. Ooh, trees and flowers, calming oil for the skin. There's so many oils in here. Nice. So <laughs> those are all the things that I got from The Will. Again, they're coming to Bay Harbor Islands in 2025. And as soon as they get here, your girl's going to do a tour. I'm going to need a trip. I'm going to need to see what they're putting down because so far... I'm picking everything up, okay? Loving all these things. I can't believe they know about Lake and Sky. Lake and Sky is really getting out there in the world and I'm happy for them because I love their 1111 fragrance. Um, so I'll link this down below because I know this is available. But shout out to The Well. All right, guys, that is everything that I got for Christmas. Not everything. There's a ton of other things that I got for, my, <laughs> that I got for myself that is coming in the mail. And I think I'll make this more than a daily vlog. So I'll be able to show you guys when some of those things come in. Um, this is that weird week between Christmas and New Year's. So I feel like y'all gonna be at home chilling and need some content to watch. So I thought I would make this video. And today I'm going to cook a holiday dinner for me and Rhea. I don't know if you can see, but I've already kind of set the table. I mean, it's a bunch of junk over there. So I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, but it's almost noon, it's 11.30, so I'm gonna shower, throw on just like a regular house dress that I can cook in that I don't mind getting dirty, and then we're gonna get started cooking. On the menu, I'm gonna have Cornish hen, stuffing, macaroni and cheese, um, red mashed potatoes, like garlic and dill potatoes, uh, what else, cornbread, I'm gonna roast some broccoli um, and then for dessert we're gonna have brownies and then I have some champagne and we're gonna watch Christmas movies or whatever kind of movies we want to watch um, and just have a, a single gals uh, Christmas which I don't mind because my mom was just here my mom had to go back home she's actually working for the holidays so there was like no need for me to really be home for Christmas um, when I already went for Thanksgiving and saw my entire family. So yeah, I'm actually really enjoying the single life. Like I know a lot of you want for me to be in a relationship and I, I am dating here and there, you know, there's someone that was pretty steady. Um, but I am really enjoying being single. <laughs> like I love it. I really do. And I'm also getting to a point where I'm just like, mm, am I going to have kids? I'm not gonna rule it out um but as far as planning for one i'm not planning for children uh and if i happen to get married then i do and if not i think i'm okay with that like i'm very happy like single living out my dreams um crushing my goals like spending time with my friends and my family and I know it might seem a little selfish, but not having to cater my life to really anyone but me. Um, and I'm enjoying that life. And I think more single women my age should probably speak about that because I know it's super expected for you to have a family and have a husband. And, you know, <sighs> life has just changed so much that you can, you don't necessarily have to do that. You can if that's the life you want. But I also think it's time to make room for the non-traditional family, um, the non-traditional way of life. Um, and I'm very, very happy. I just want y'all to know, like, I'm really enjoying my life. 
and I feel like it's only gonna get better in 2024. Um, so yeah, shout out to those of you who, you know, you have families and shout out to those of you who, you are your family. And I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. So I'm about to cook dinner. I'll show you guys what I'm cooking. And yeah, let's put all of these things away because it's a lot. Shout out to all the brands who sent me things. I appreciate y'all. Let's get to cooking. It is now 2 30 um, and everything is pretty much almost done I'm still boiling my red potatoes to make garlic and dill um, mashed potatoes so that's really easy to cook um, I'm making some macaroni just those top. I'm not <laughs> baking no macaroni today and then some stuffing I have some asparagus baking with a little um, red pepper flakes and garlic I have some cornbread in the oven. I also made brownies for dessert, that's already done. And my Cornish hens packed with lemon, garlic, thyme, and rosemary. They look beautiful, they're almost done and it smells amazing in here. So that is going to be my Christmas dinner. I wanted to show you guys my little place set, which is pretty basic, but I have my plates. I can't remember where I got these. I think I got them from Amazon, but they're white irregular plates, which I like. I have my golden forks from Amazon and my black matte uh, butter knives from, I believe, Amazon as well. And then I have my raffia placemats that you all love so much. I got them from Pottery Barn, but they have them in a ton of different places. Some are round, some are square. I'll link a few below. Then I have my black, uh, champagne glasses these are from cb2 and i think they're so cool to like mix black with wood i have a thing i have these little tablecloths that i also think i picked up from amazon and that is pretty much the place setting and then i have a little saucer as well in matte black for you know cornbread or whatever kind of side and i have some candelabras that i also got from amazon you would have seen these when I did my like girls night in dinner with Tangeray. So I just have green candles, green little candelabras. These came in like, I think a pack of four for maybe like 12 bucks from Amazon. So if I can find any of this stuff, I'll link it below. But I'm just finishing everything up now. I think everything will be done in like the next 20 minutes. And we're gonna have a nice Christmas dinner, watch some movies and just chill. 
I'll show you guys the finished product, like my finished plate, and then I think I'll check back in with you all tomorrow. We have a visitor, guys. Say hello Come to Nala. 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 She get off the couch. Get off ah. the couch. Anywho, you're gonna get uninvited. Here Come is here. the meal. Everything came out nice. Sit. We have a little champagne, Sit. some water, and then brownies for dessert. All right, let's eat. So it is a brand new day and it's finally back being beautiful and sunny and hot and gorgeous here in Miami. I swear, I love it when it's like this. It's just so beautiful. So of course, after my workout this morning, I went to the beach, hung out a bit, um, and then I went and made a grocery run to Trader Joe's and I'll um, unpack those groceries with you guys and show you what I got but my Christmas dinner went over really well everything was delicious I made a rosemary lemon and garlic um, Cornish hens oh they were so delicious like the meat was just falling off the bone y'all and yeah everything was delicious uh, Rhea and I just watched Christmas movies and had a lot of girl chat and fun and her dog came as well her dog Nala is so cute and yeah, we had a great time. So it's actually a few days later. Um, and I do have another gift that I got my, myself for Christmas that came in. So I wanted to quickly show it to you all. And y'all know, I'm a, I'm a, a Saint Laurent girly. Um, so I ordered this online and it came in like two days. 
because I realized I really wanted it. I also wanted to gift it to a few friends. So I bought a few, but I ended up keeping one for myself. And I think I showed you guys in the previous vlog uh, when my mom was here, my clear Saint Laurent uh, tumbler. So I ended up getting another one. But I thought this one was just so chic. As you can see, it comes with a little top, a little rubber top. And this top actually says Saint Laurent on it. The one that I have for my clear glass doesn't have anything on it. Um, no like logo or anything. But I ended up getting the black porcelain tumbler with uh, white handwriting on there. And it's so cute. This is kind of heavy. They also have the smaller ones, but unfortunately the black smaller one was sold out. Um, they do have them in white in the smaller version as well. It's just a very expensive uh, coffee tumbler in porcelain. And I'm thrilled with it, honestly. It did come with the bag. It came with this little box and also a receipt. But they, they kind of package it all kind of separate uh, when you buy it straight from the website. And it comes super quick. So if you're interested, I will, of course, link this down below. I'm actually going to take this downstairs and wash it out because I haven't had a coffee today. And your girl needs a coffee. I've been kind of taking it easy with the coffee because I'm on a, a gastritis diet, which is pretty basically just pretty bland things. But, I mean, it's the holidays, so I've been kind of... <laughs> popping on and off of that bandwagon but um instead of doing double espressos i've just been doing regular coffee and only take like three or four sips i don't even drink the whole thing but yeah happy to have this let's head downstairs and i'll do a little trader joe's grocery haul free wall um i ended up getting a ton of flowers so i'm also going to collect all of my vases from around the house and we are going to do some bouquets which is very calming. I used to do this all the time in my old apartment here in Miami. If you guys watched any of those vlogs. Um, if you're new here, when I first moved to Miami, I had lived in a different apartment. And then I ended up buying this house, uh, getting rid of that apartment, going back to New York until my house was finished, and then coming here when the house was finished. I still have my apartment in New York as well. So yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to cook some breakfast because I'm starving. Uh, all right, and then I think we might go get my nails done because New Year's is coming, but I don't know if it's too soon to get my nails done for New Year's. I might need to wait. Uh, but I'm also thinking about doing a little shopping today as well. So should be a fun day. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get into my Trader Joe's haul. Uh, oh, got my little Trader Joe's bag here. I didn't do too much because I already had done quite a bit of like shopping for, to create my holiday dinner. But I'm out of like fruit, so I ended up getting some bananas. I got a little bit of arugula for, I like to make BLTs and use arugula as the lettuce. I also just love arugula. <laughs> it's my favorite green. I got some organic tomatoes, which are delicious. And I got this bread. Y'all, I love this bread. It's called Chala Bread. It's braided egg bread. And it is so good. The ingredients are unbleached, enriched flour, uh, water, honey, sugar, eggs, soybean, yeast, and salt. And it's so good. Um, it's 200 calories per serving, which isn't bad at all. But this bread is like so sweet and savory. Oh, it's just so good. I love it with like a little bit um, of jam or even like a little bit of honey or a little peanut butter. Or sometimes I'll use it as a base for a sandwich as well. But one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. Then we got some eggs because I'm all out. I use eggs to make brownies for my holiday meal as well as cornbread. Um, and I usually eat a, maybe like two eggs every day, like either scramble or in a sandwich. So I got some fresh grade A eggs. What else did I get? Uh, oh, one of my 
secret pleasures you all have seen this before this is the french market sparkling limeade this stuff is so bad for you <laughs> it has 32 grams of sugar which is so much but i'm addicted to this stuff it's so good um it's like lemonade but with limes and it's just a little bit it has a little bite so what i like to do is just pour just a little bit in a cup and just add water to it to kind of soften the sugar <laughs> and then i drink it but this is like one of my guilty pleasures because i don't drink soda and i don't really drink too much juice either my three main liquids are water which i love um coffee which i also love and wait oat milk that's three one more is like champagne those are my favorites and then i got this which is the garlicky pasta italian pasta and creamy umami garlic sauce i've been craving pasta in like some kind of white sauce and i love garlic so i got two of these i've never had them before but it sounds delicious so i got two of those and then i got two of these um potatoes these are organic i think these are asian sweet potatoes and they're white on the inside and i find them to be a little more starchy than just like your regular sweet potato um but i love the taste of these they're so good so i'll either cut them up and roast them or i'll boil them and then i'll make like a little vegetable medley with uh roasted broccoli with garlic and this uh in a bowl so good it's one of my favorite like meals that gets you full without having meat um and that is it for my haul oh i also got all of these peonies from trader joe's they're oh, they're so beautiful it's peony season oh they're so gorgeous so what i like to do is you can see the bottom sometimes have like brown or half browned. I like to pull the brown portions off. I'll cut the stems on a diagonal and then I'll place them in cold water inside of the vase. And that'll usually get them to open in about a day. These are so stunning. So we'll put all the, of the groceries up and then we'll get all of my vases together and go ahead and arrange these. All right guys, so I have my three main vases here that I'm gonna be using for my peonies. This one here is the Love Handles vase from Anissa Kermichi. There are a few of these on sale. I also have this one in black that's in New York, in my New York apartment. Then we have the Breast Friends. <laughs> At least I think that's what it's called, I'm not sure. Um, vase, it has a little chip in it. I'm not worried about the chip, I really could care less. And then we have this vase from H&M, um, H&M Home. They have some pretty amazing vases as well. So I'm just gonna fill all three of these up with super cold water and go ahead and cut my peonies, clean them up and put them in. guys just finished with all three of my bouquets i love how this one came out in my h&m vase and i'll link any of these vases that are still available uh so i'm gonna just go put everything where it belongs this one's gonna go in my office slash closet i just put three little bubs in there and then the one on my kitchen table is my favorite let me show you oh she's so stunning I love it so pretty yeah all right so I'm just gonna put these where they belong make myself some lunch and chill for a bit while I wash clothes and then I think we might head to do a little window shopping later and then I'll end off the vlog but I hope you all are enjoying it this far um, all right let's put these flowers up
Hey y'all. So I am back from my excursion to Curio at Faena Bazaar. It was great. I looked all around, saw the things they had. And I bought a brand new dress. Um, you would have seen me try it on. It's the striped uh, dress that is strapless. Just a plain dress. I just need more like dresses like this that I could just wear out when I'm like running errands and such. It's from the brand um, Posse. If you are interested, I'll see if I can find more from them. But such so just like a cute little everyday dress that I could wear outside. Usually I don't wear dresses like this. Well, this dress I wear out, but like my other house dresses from like Skims and such, I don't really wear those out. And then I also got a Byredo candle. And this used to be my favorite candle before I came across August and Pierre's Muse candle, which I need to order some. Um, but yeah, all of my candles in the house right now are holiday smells. They all smell like Christmas or Christmas trees. And Christmas is over, okay? I mean, I still got the holiday spirit, but it's over. And I need a different kind of smell in my house for the new year. So I got the Byredo Bibliotech candle. This is my favorite candle from Byredo. I love the way it smells. It smells amazing. Um, I'm not sure you all have ever seen Byredo candles before. I'm pretty sure I've shown them on the channel before. But this is the Bibliotech candle. And their candles are black which I like because I have a lot like a theme of like natural colors and blacks in my space. And so I just wanna show you what the candle actually looks like in case you're interested. And it's just black with white writing. Hopefully you can see it. And it smells amazing. This is my favorite candle from them. Ugh. It smells like fresh and new but warm it's a great like new year's smell so i'm gonna put this down in the living room right in front of my uh vase with my peonies on it on the kitchen table and that will be my scent for the new year all right you guys i think that's it for this video oh i also had lunch this was the first time i actually ate at the cafe crema that's there in the um, downstairs area of Curio. I always walk past and I see people eating but I've never actually gone inside. <laughs> I never even knew the whole cafe was back in there but it's the food was amazing and that chai tea latte that I had was the best chai tea latte I've ever had and it was very affordable so I will be heading back there for lunch. I think I got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a baguette sandwich but they have pastas and everything is very um well priced and the food is really good i was actually thinking i was going to go across the street to faena and have lunch but that would have run me about 80 dollars my lunch there was only about 20 which was amazing so yeah definitely check that place out i also popped into Mor morphew to check out some of their vintage pieces i didn't see anything that caught my eye but yeah the day is done it's still beautiful out so i think i'm gonna go and do a bike ride but I hope you all enjoyed this video, seeing what I got for Christmas, watching me cook, um, and just enjoy these first, you know, few days during the holidays. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give your girl a thumbs up. Don't leave yet. I need that thumbs up before you go. Subscribe if you haven't yet and you've been watching my videos. Please make sure you check and see that you're still subscribed. Um, because sometimes if you're pretty inactive, YouTube will unsubscribe you. So check and make sure you are subscribed. And if not, join the fam before the year is out. Help your girl out. I'm trying to at least get to 120 by the end of the year. Um, subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Hope you all enjoyed your holiday. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.